Hey, Cameron here with the Sea Butters channel, taking a look at the GPD Win version 1. And uh, the reason I'm making this video today is I wanted to show everyone how to use throttle stop. And in general, I'm going to show two things. The first one is how to configure throttle stop and also super important how to bypass the TDP limit of 6 watts on the GPD win 1 which enables you know full speed clocks at the turbo that stay on non-stop full speed GPU full speed CPU as long as you want as long as you can maintain the heat uh, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm, I'm doing is I'm using Throttle Stop version 8.5. I'll put a link to it in the video description, um, but all you need to do is extract that folder. I usually put it on the C drive in, a th in its own folder. And I have an INI that's already started uh, for my settings, but I've just renamed that so it's like a fresh copy. So the, the great thing about Throttle Stop is it lets you manipulate all sorts of things about your processor. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, it says, hey, this could tweak with your CPU. So we'll say, okay, that's fine. That's what I want to do. Okay, so I'm going to show you two things. I'm going to show you how to create a performance profile and then kind of a general, um, basically a, a longer battery profile that's going to disable turbo mode and show you the best way to kind of figure out what settings are good for you. So the first thing we're going to do is um, get accustomed to the interface. The most important thing that I find is looking at this package power number here. This shows you how many watts that the system is using. And over here you have the temperature of the processor as well. So one of the first things you need to do uh, to be able to sustain higher clocks is undervolt the machine. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose set multiplier here. And notice that we're in the performance tab on the first section here. And you can create hotkeys to flip between the different modes. But for now, uh, this performance mode I'm really going to tune as a, as a high performance mode. Um, but maybe maybe what I should do before this though is is uh, well I don't need to I've already run the benchmark I'm using unit heaven benchmark and I know that uh, in stock settings it gets uh, about uh, 21 frames per second so we're gonna go ahead and undervolt it and what that does is you have usually have a package power limit of six watts if you can fit higher clocks because you're using less power inside that envelope, you will get better performance. So uh, let's go ahead and say set the multiplier. And we're going to, I was able to tune my voltage down to 0 0.67 before it starts crashing. So that is my limit. That is uh, very dependent on. The on your processor, you, you someone might be able to undervolt more than that, um, but that's where my chip is able to function without crashing. So now that we've set that, uh, a lot of people say that this is a good one to click. I don't exactly know what that one means, but uh, let's go ahead and, and stick with that. So now that we've done that, we've kind of set our multiplier with the voltage. Um, we're going to go ahead and tr save those settings. Well, you'll want to not necessarily save them um, while you're tuning your voltage, but um, I know that that's a safe voltage for my chip. So we're going to go ahead and save that. We're going to turn it on, and now you can see um, we've applied these settings. So uh, what's really useful to do is I found Heaven is actually, you know, it, it kind of stresses the CPU and the GPU a lot. So if we let this run, we'll be able to see the effects of our undervolt, how how hot the temperature is getting. And if you if you don't undervolt, um, you'll see the temperatures get pretty high. But then after you enable your undervolt, it it tends to come down quite a bit. So we're gonna let this run, and it's pretty intense. 
and it's basically going to max out the uh, the TDP of 6 watts very quickly. So the other thing I'm going to do is turn on a program that's going to let us see um, what the GPU clocks are doing. Okay, so the maximum clock speed is 600, but we're, you know, bouncing around between 400 and 500 here. And you can see we're at 6 watts, our temp is 55, and we're undervolted, temps are under control, and we're getting, you know, fairly high clock speeds, but not the best. And our GPU is loaded pretty high, but it's, I mean, we'd, ideally we'd be at 2.6 here and 600 here. So this is our high performance mode and uh, that's this is like the best you can do within that 6 watt power envelope and uh, but later on in the video I'm going to show you how to bypass that. So hang on let's now go into um, another profile let's go to let's say uh, an internet profile so when you're using this system and you really don't want to use a lot of battery um, this is just another profile that I like to use. One thing I like to do, you can see right now we're at 2 gigahertz. I like to disable the turbo. So if you disable the turbo and also we know that the voltage is good at that 0 0.67 so I'm going to set that as well. So I'm going to save that. And um, so now you can see that we're stuck at 1.6 gigahertz there so the good thing about this is it's very consistent clock so if you're using emulators or things like that that can be a really useful mode so we'll go ahead and save that so those are the two profiles that I kinda like to use so your performance won't be as good in 3d games like this but um, but that's a good low power mode but I promised you I'd show you how to bypass the 6 watt TDP limit. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click the TPL. So let's, let's talk about these numbers here. So there's a long and a short package power limit. And uh, I'm not, I tried to set these back to what I think the default was. And basically I, I can't remember exactly what it was and somehow it seems to have saved them in the registry or things like that but uh, there's there's a few things we can do right here if we set this package power long we, we can really adjust the performance of this machine so uh, I'm just going to show you right now you, you've been seeing you know it's it's really sticking to that 6 watt package power profile so if you click if you adjust that though you can start getting a lot better performance. So let's go ahead and bump that up to let's say 10 watts. And also you can also adjust the turbo time limit. That's how long it will stay in the short mode. By default that's 2 seconds. You can up that to 10. It's really not going to... I mean we're already... this 10 watts is more than these clocks at max speeds can even hit. So it, this doesn't really matter but if you want to tune it that's what it that's what you can control with it. So maybe you want to maybe you want to have a higher upfront. You know, you want a 30 second or something. You know, where it can go full speed, but then it backs down in that six watt or even a seven watt. You can kind of tune it yourself here. But I'm going to do full performance mode and let you see how, how it affects everything. So I'm going to apply that, and you can see right here now we're pushing 7.6 watts, but you're like, well, you didn't get the full 10. Well, look at the clocks. Our GPU is at 600. It's maxed out. That's as high as it goes. Our CPU is also maxed out at the 2. Point, you know, basically 2.6. So this is now going full speed. Um, so that you're maximizing potential of your GPD win. So the temps right now are at 67 degrees, and uh, they're going to get hotter than that as this runs, but. Um, let's go ahead and run a benchmark. And let me... OK. 
Okay, so we're still halfway halfway into the benchmark. Our clock speeds are still at 2.6 and 600. We're at 7.5 watts. Um, the other thing I should mention is the fact that I am running the downgraded BIOS, the 1025-2016 BIOS, uh, as recommended by in Fox's video. Um, I'll also put a link to that in the description as well. And I have done his recommended option tunes. I've done the GPU boost enabled. And also I've adjusted the temperature so uh, it hits at an 80 degree Celsius limit instead of that 52 degree Celsius limit. So follow his guide to, to change those settings. Um, I have not tried this without having those set. But... Um, so, you know, do keep in mind that that is something you might want to look out for as well. Because it is possible when that's set to, you know, 52, if, you, if it even got close to this, it would, it would limit those watts. But we're not even getting close to 80, and I have seen it get, you know, 75, 78 as it's run this for hours. Um, but uh, generally, it seems to handle it okay. I don't know what's con necessarily considered a safe temperature, but you can definitely force this machine to max itself out in the boost modes. Okay, so there we go. Um, 25 frames a second. Where before we were getting, you know, 20.5, I'll say. So that's actually a 20% improvement in performance. So, anyways, I hope this helps you max out your GPD win. And thanks for watching. Subscribe, and we'll probably have some more GPD win one and two videos coming soon. Bye.